Hi, yeah, welcome to another video. Uh, a while ago, sort of, you remember I did a, a review video for a company called The Soon on this trail camera. Now, absolutely fantastic product. Uh, raved about it. Takes really good quality videos and pictures day and night. Really, really nice piece of kit. Now, they contacted me recently and asked me if I'd like an additional product that goes alongside this so we've got one and a half watt uh, solar panel now if anybody knows trail cameras you'll know they're power hungry when it comes to batteries now a standard trail camera like this this compartment here all eight batteries a batteries so and they do go through batteries quite quick so when they contact me I mentioned this Solar, pa uh, solar panel I quite like the idea because you can set it up to a solar panel as long as lighting conditions or there's some sun shining it's going to recharge your trail camera so what do you get in the box one and a half watt solar panel uh, built in lithium battery 17 mAh External output, 5 volts. Maximum output, 6 volts. This is lovely. Really well made. So, on back of it, you have a 5 volt output and a 6 volt. So, you get two cables. So you get a 5 volt cable, which comes with USB attachment on end. So the 5 volt, obviously, That'll go in there, like so. That'll go into a plug adapter, and that's the charge front mains. So that's cable A. You also get cable B. So this is the one we're really interested in. So this little piece here, this end, will go into 6 volt output. So right, wrong one. The bigger one. I'll go into there, like so. And then your little end. On the underneath of the trail cam, you probably just be able to see it there. That goes into there, like so. Try and do this cock handed. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Nah. I'm really loving this idea. Like for an home environment or somewhere out in the field where you know these products are safe and a secure ish area, it's going to save you worrying about batteries. Obviously this needs light or a bit of sunlight to be able to power this. So you've got to bear that in mind and locate this in a spot where it is going to attract some light. So just take these cables out. What you also get is this stand. Now you got one of these that came with the trail camera as well. I think that's fantastic like addition to kit. And that just goes into there like so. It's good because you can bolt that to a fence post, to a tree, and this is adjustable. So you can move that to where you need it to be. Let's take that out. You also, the instruction manual, Really, really simple to follow. Tell you all specs, caution warnings, operation instruction, and connection. I right, see so you've got nothing to really worry about. You've got cable A, cable B. Cable A for plug adapter in household environment, cable B for out in field. So, obviously, it's dark at this time in the UK. So what we'll do is I'll get this set up, I'll get it out tomorrow and we'll see what footage we can capture and see how well this charges this trail camera. It is winter in the UK so I'm going to be relying on some light or some sun but we'll see, we'll put it through to test and I'll come back to you and I'll include it in the second part of the video.
So a quick update, it's been out for about 24 hours now. As you can see, a little red indicator light shows that it's charging. I'm happy with that because there's no direct sunlight, it's just working off daylight and that's it. So it shows it's a decent solar panel.